Welcome to Xbox Beyond the Box. I'm your host, Dragon Dust. Gamers, let me just say thank you. Thank you for all the love and support that you show the channel each and every day. We really do appreciate it. If you're new here, hit that like button, and if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button to get more content from Xbox Beyond the Box. So gamers, um, usually when it comes to topics, uh, my wife uh, picks them out. And uh, one quick note, gamers, if you do leave a comment, please note that I don't really uh, look at the comments. I, I don't answer them. My wife does that. Um, I have a social media page that is just basically sitting there on idle because I suffer from anxiety and depression. Uh, but with that being said, my wife uh, picked out today's topic because she's the boss. And, you know, and when you work for your wife, you listen or you sleep on the couch or the floor. But nonetheless, um, apparently what had come to her attention was people being angry at other people for being angry at Games with Gold. And I know some of you are going, huh? Uh, th this is the situation. There, people do criticize Games with Gold. And other people criticize them for criticizing Games with Gold. God, I'm really screwing this up. But nonetheless, if, you, if you're still following along, um, people are basically saying, you know, no one has a right to complain because you get four free games. Well, to a point. To a point. Um, let's try a little bit of economics. Or I think this is, I think, you know, economics. But um, nonetheless, let's try a little economics. Uh, four, four games every month, games with gold. But here's the thing, it's not actually free. And I know some of you are like, yes it is, Dragon! No, it's not. No, uh, you pay $60 a year for games with gold, remember? Um, you also pay, you know, your internet bill if you want to count that. If you want to be one of those people that goes, the internet bill costs 30, 40, 50, 60, 80 dollars possibly. We have to be, we've been charged for games with gold, technically. Uh, so, you know, when you look at it, it's not four free games. It really isn't. It's part of the package deal. We get four games with gold every month. Now, are we allowed to criticize that? Yes, we are. Because games with gold, as nice as it is, has went downhill. Now, I'm going to give you a solution to fix it here in a moment, but I want to explain myself. I know you can't release AAA titles every month. I really do. But some of these, you know, these bottom of the barrel, you know, uh, games that you would find, you know, uh, yard sale deal, deal type games nobody wants, you could at least give the DLC with it. Or if Microsoft wanted to, if they really wanted to spice things up, you know, release um, Skyrim, one of my favorite games of all time. Release Elder Scrolls Skyrim with all the DLC and watch how many people download that bitch. I'm talking off the charts. But, you know, these are ways to improve games with gold because it really does feel like they're more focused on Xbox Game Pass, which costs you twice as much per year. For those of you who are playing the home game, that's 120 bucks a year. And I suspect it'll go up in another year or so. Uh, that's just me following the trends because you watch Netflix, they went up, everybody else is going up, so Microsoft's going to say, hey, got to go up too. But nonetheless, um, as, cons as a consumer, we have a right to be angry when we get you know, games that we basically feel like we should be wiping our ass with and throwing them in the trash. And technically, if you get four games that are just basically crappy games, then you're looking at stuff that you went, oh, God, man, I got games with gold, and I got one month that I don't have anything to play. Hence why you got to go to Game Pass. But nonetheless, gamers, I want to know from you, do you feel like game you are allowed to complain about games with gold, or do you feel like the people who complain about it don't have that right? Tell me in the comment section below. And gamers, um, I really do want to thank you uh, for showing up for the video. I really do appreciate it. Um, while you're here, hit that like, share, and subscribe button. Tell your friends, tell your mom, your grandma, uh, call lost relatives in another country and say, hey, you know, you got to check out Dragon Dust on Xbox Beyond the Box. That guy's nuts. Um, just don't call my mental health worker and tell that. She pretty much already knows. Um, but nonetheless, gamers, I wish you all nothing but happy gaming. And for the love of God, or whoever you worship, not going to judge, wake up one morning and say, I'm happy to be playing video games. Because there's so many angry, angry people on video games. I cannot believe it. But wake up one morning and go, I'm happy to play video games. I saw Dragon. Uh, don't tell other people that, or they might think you're on LSD. 
But nonetheless, you know, you're happy to play video games. Trust me, it'll improve your sex life with your boyfriend, girlfriend, or whatever you're dating. Not going to judge. Not going to judge. But nonetheless, gamers, happy gaming. This has been Xbox Beyond the Box. I've been your host, Dragon Dust. Till we meet again.